I set up the depth stop so it won't protrude the uh, the board here, so I can enter the enter the dowels for connecting the cross piece. Depth stop gives you the guarantee that you don't pop through the wood. It, damn, it happened. I need something to set this up accurate. So I go ahead and build this. through my stock I found this piece of beach and I just cut this to the maximum width here to see what uh, actually I can get out of it so let's go ahead I don't need any fancy planing on that as this is just a jig and so go ahead and square it up by passing it along the blade as well one more time. I square up the ends and then it's time for the actual build. Yeah, this is a nice piece. And now I just go ahead and uh, drill a 10 millimeter hole <coughs> somewhere around. I found this knob here. So the 10 millimeter hole should be somewhere around, or the center somewhere around here. And this area so the so the so when this is the the center okay so I have to drill somewhere on this line just checking for the For the center of the piece, just mark the center with a pencil here. The real center, as if I would turn this, and with my square, can now. 
register the square against the center point, uh, the center mark here, and by scribing the line down to the to the side, I find the point where I have to drill the ten millimeters. Now, it's not necessary that it is super accurate at this point because. The only things which have to be real accurate are these two faces, the one on the top and the one on the bottom. So now I just go ahead and drill a 10 millimeter hole right through and I start with a short drill bit on, the, on my drill press and then I'll come back and use this long one here, which actually goes through the, through here. Now that this hole is, well, it's not that deep, it's just up to there. So this means I have to go well, almost the same. I go ahead and uh, finish the hole with this long drill bit here. And it actually looks quite nice. It came out the, the way where it should go. Okay, now it's time to <coughs> mark the the holes for the for the knob. I guess I put it up somewhere around here. Yeah, that's it. Take it down here. I guess. So I'm connecting the center line here. Not just by eyeballing. That's enough. And somewhere around there. Okay, what looks nice. I guess this one here. So this is just the position where it looks nice. Nothing else. Okay. an M6 and for an M6 I've got a drill bit which says M6 five millimeters so the center hole will be five millimeters this is the drill bit for the M6 tap now go ahead and drill this over at the at the drill press again and well actually the taps uh, the, the, the taps here they start on tapping cores and they go to uh, well the actual the diameter of where it cuts gets bigger the the tip of it until it reaches the the right is less than a centimeter, less than a 10 millimeter hole I just drilled here through the through the blank. So I just pop through the 
pop through the wood here. In order to prevent tear out, I'm inserting the dowel into the into the hole, and this will prevent the tear out here inside the hole. Oh yeah, this is the this is also the the dowel I'll use for the for the death stop. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I just finished the drilling and wow, this is perfect centered. And I did not hurt the the hole here and this is running pretty smooth here. So okay. So I just have to tap the threads in here. I'm just using And you have to start slowly, break the chips by rotating uh, backwards just a little, so you break, actually break the, or cut away the fibers. At least that's the way it works on metal. And now I can go ahead and put this down to the bottom of the of the longer hole here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So get this out of here. whether it's working or not. This is an old knob from, I don't know where I got this from. This goes in here. And the dowel goes in here. The dowel can be locked. Yeah, that's it. And the dowel is locked now. So, next thing is to cut the dowel a little oversized, so I insert it in here and have it stick out on this end and cut away on this end. to use. Actually, while I made it, I found out a couple of features. I want to drill through this, well, I don't know how thick it is, piece of, piece of wood and I want to end up about five millimeters ahead of the, ahead of the before I go through. So what I'm doing, I just take this five millimeter piece, set up the, the dowel, extend it, just push it down onto the board, tighten the knob, and now I've got the depth which is five millimeter less than the board. Okay. Now in order to do the setup, just 
just loosen this thing, put the, the drill bit into the wood, get it to where it butts against the, the dowel, and now I tighten this uh, death stock. This way, the setup is pretty damn accurate. See, it's not almost touching the wood. Yeah, it is. When I push it over a little, it is touching. Otherwise, it won't touch. So, this is the right depth now. And now I can be comfortable to not to pop through the wood. Yes. Now the fun part starts. Yeah, I'm that lucky that you uh, donate to my channel so I can do my woodworking and do things like this. Well, just uh, in order to be. Uh, to show you things like this that I think this might be a nice piece for Christopher Fisher I've seen him turning bolts lately and what I used to do is I drill a hole into the center of, of the bowl while, uh, for hollowing out the inside so I have the depth of the bowl. I think with this thingy here, he'll be able to set a depth stop on, on a drill bit, like the ones I've got here. These are for uh, 6, 8 and 10 millimeters. The dowel is 10 millimeters, so I'll send him a set of, that, uh, of these as well. And uh, this way he can accurately set the center. But for, I guess for Chris, I'll have to add something. Chris got his talking tape measure. And the tape measure is actually telling him how deep he is going into the wood. So in order to have this, well, it looks pretty. So I set this now to six centimeters, just checking whether it works or not. So I set this to 60 millimeters now. And I guess the one he got is better than this one here. And I'm just pushing the dowel. onto the wood until I end up with the six centimeters. This way I've got the accurate six centimeters. Just checking whether it's okay or not. Let's do it the other way around. Doesn't matter. So the whole well the actual distance from the depth stop to the drill bit over here should be six centimeters and that's accurate so that's exactly what I set up the six centimeters you can't be more accurate and it can't be faster because when you start uh, fiddling around with a tape measure and the and the drill bit, you always got the the problem that you don't have more than two hands, one hand for tightening this and one hand for holding this. And with this 
Jake. Works quite perfect. Okay. Although this might not count as a real project, uh, this is something which makes me really happy. As I got the idea of sending this to uh, Chris Fisher, so he might be able to improve on his on this turning of, of his uh, bolts. Uh, as I watched him uh, turning his bolt lately, I saw that he uh, hasn't had anything for the depth of the bowl. What I used to do on my bowls is I drill a hole in the center, the depth I want to have the bowl, and uh, hollow, uh, hollow away thing, uh, the wood up to the point where uh, I can see the, the actual uh, impression of the drill bit. So, in this way, as he is more sensitive, I guess, he is more sensitive to vibrations and all of that. If he would have turned a hole in the center, the depth of what he wanted to have, uh, this would have left him a thinner um, bottom of the bowl. As he said, well, his first bowl, uh, he wasn't that happy with the with the bottom of the bowl, so this might help to improve his turning. And this is all made possible by the donations you made to my channel over the last couple of months. And uh, I'm now I'm able to send out stuff to, well, other woodworkers or uh, as I'll do on Sunday for the uh, for the uh, draft I've got on Sunday, and I'll see you on Sunday when I do the my my uh, donator giveaway. And uh, I'm really happy that I'm I'm able to do something like this. So other than just making videos and uh, well showing you my stuff I'm doing I'm actually physically able to help and uh, this is what really makes me happy in my state you know of, of the depressions I've got um, I'm not the guy you know who, who always says uh, I, I want to have I, I, I want to receive and I want to get something from you but I'm, I'm more happy when I'm able to give away something for people who are in need of something. And this is just an idea of me. And it might come in handy at his place. So I'm very glad uh, that I can do this. So if you want to donate to my channel, Check it out in the description box. I'll leave the uh, the URL of my homepage over there, and there you find the information of how to send me stuff or to donate some money via PayPal. And I'm really, really happy with that now, and uh, I can't I can't stress it more uh, that this is really something which makes me inside inside myself happy. And this is something I had been really looking forward to do. And I'm glad I got the idea that I could send this to Chris. And what's left, just put some wax on the outside now and some wax on the dowel and wrap it up, send it to him with the, with the uh, metal depth stop I've got here. So he'll... Uh, be able to use this on his future projects or maybe it's also uh, comes in handy in in his other uh, shop he is working in with his uh, creepy stuff as he says and uh, well I'm looking forward to hear from him what he thinks of it so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on Sunday with my 
NATO giveaway for this month.